Ramanad University's Master's in Criminal Justice Studies program provides a holistic approach to the industry and has given Katie Ka'ahanui a solid foundation for her role at Safe and Sound Waikiki. Safe and Sound Waikiki is a multi-organization partnership with the Waikiki business community, as well as local law enforcement, city prosecutors, the city and county of Honolulu, as well as our social service providers. And we work to really imagine what safety can look like here in Waikiki and bring a new version of that to life. And so we do that in two ways. First, we work to really amplify the public safety efforts that we see here in the district. So we wanna make sure that people feel safe, that we're responding to crime quickly, but also we wanna look at the drivers behind why people might find themselves in a cycle of crime, homelessness, addiction, or substance abuse, for example. And we wanna make sure that we're hitting those areas as well. Year one of Safe and Sound was really focused on amplifying the safe piece of the work. And so it was focused on increasing our public safety here in Waikiki. And we've seen steady decreases in crime across the board here in the district, which is great. So while we work to continue those trends, year two is gonna be focused on amplifying the mental health support, the outreach support, the case management support, and really stepping in to really help these people get what they need to step out of the lifestyles that they find themselves in here. Safe and Sound Waikiki is actually modeled after the weed and seed model that we see in other communities here on Oahu. And so Safe and Sound was created in September of 2022. Mm -hmm. We're about a year and a half into this program. And so I was always very familiar with the idea of weeding out crime, but also bringing in the components that help people to step out of that cycle and live thriving, fulfilling lives. You know, here in Hawaii, the degree of separation is one, you know, maybe two at most. And so if we're not experiencing this directly, it's our our family, it's our friends, it's somebody that we love. And so it's really important for me to be able to step into this work. And as my role as executive coordinator, I'm able to be the player that brings in all of our main stakeholders together and kind of re-strategize how we're impacting the people here in the district. And it's been a great experience. I always knew that criminal justice was gonna somehow be a part of my life's plan, and it definitely just felt like a resounding yes to pursue this work. The Master's in Criminal Justice Studies from Chaminade really stood out to me because it provides a holistic approach to what applying criminal justice can look like here in our local communities. So it's not only preparing you to work in a career in law enforcement, but if you wanna work in administration or if you wanna work directly with people who are in the justice system, you're prepared to do that as well. Dr. Dr. Treese has been a wonderful mentor and a wonderful professor, and she's really guided me along the way. But also Dr. Janet Davidson, who's been a huge role model, and it was through her that I got to have the volunteer opportunity to go into Halapa Correctional Facility and serve as a tutor for the students there who are getting their AA degree in business through Chaminade as well. And so it's the mentorship, it's the friendships that we have here at Chaminade that really continue to support your journey along the way and open doors, and it's been life-changing for me. If you would like to learn more about Chaminade's Master's in Criminal Justice Studies program, visit chaminade.edu.